What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so... yeah. This game is never-ending. I, I, I kid you not, it's just like, that. that's the way I feel right now. It's just never-ending, and... yeah. I kind of wanted it to end because, uh, yeah, we got other plans going on and all that stuff. So, anywho, in this episode right here, guys... Uh, we're gonna be going straight to Mount Moon because in our last episode, yeah, we were informed that, well, there's a, something fishy going up on there. You know, our mission with the international police and all that stuff. So now, let's go right ahead and fly off to Mount Moon right here and let's see if we can actually get to Mount Moon. Let's see, Mount Moon would have to be there. And no, we're not, yeah, we're not gonna be able to fly directly to, to, to Mount Moon, but we're going to be close by, and it is still raining in Pewter City right here. Now, let's see, in our last episode, we did quite a few things. I think we finished it, the first part of our, of, of our thing, and now, let's see, I hope this is the second time, because I, 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 I'm pretty sure we attempted to go to the Orange Island, but we didn't get our, our ticket stamped or anything, or, you know, drilled a hole or anything, I don't even know. So, here we are running on and doing our thing, not being attacked by any Pokemon trainer right here because we already defeated them quite a few times, and, well, let's see, here we are in Mount Moon, and I'm thinking that it is in the section that we couldn't get through, so as you can see right here, our good old buddy, I don't know what his name is, is like, Draven, this is a bad, or this is, this is bad, the place is overrun with uh, Team Rattler Rockets, quickly, clear them out, okay, so what are you going to do? I kind of want to know about that. Like, what the hell are you going to be doing? I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead and start battling every single Team Rocket member. And he's like, what the heck? You again? He kind of doesn't like me. He really doesn't. So, let's get this. We're going to be going up against a Team Rocket member right here. And uh, they're at level 66. So, I'm going to speed through this because we kind of need to get to the important parts right there. Physical. Look at that. And he's coming out with a sand slash So Let's go again. Waterfall for the win. Suck on those lemons. And bam. It's an easy victory for us. Okay, so let's see. Another Team Rocket member there. And we forgot to put on Repel. And yes, a level 7 Golbat. You haven't... You're not mistaken. Level 7. So it must be... Yeah, it must be just, you know, hacked or something like that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. And oh, the sneaky brat from the Seafoam Islands. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Okay, so here we go. Another Team Rocket member, and he's got three Pokemon right here. And well, level 67 Arbok. I really do love the way how they paired up all these Pokemon right here. It makes it much more of a challenge. And well, we're gonna be on a special attack. Look at that, Arbok defeated. Coming out with the uh, what you might call it, uh, a uh, gold bat right here. So thunderbolt for the win right there. Look at that, and it's coming out with eradicate. So let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla. Okay, so let's go. Flamethrower does its thing, nearly beats this guy. So let's go with a wing attack, and of course he likes to use hyper potion. Who doesn't? So let's go with a slash attack, and uh, victorious right there. Look at that. Oh, what strength! That's right. I'm gonna have to lower this microphone down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, so is not well. Mount Moon's not that big. Who are you? What are you doing here? Yeah, Mount Moon in well in Generation One and Two or Generation Two, not that big. But but I guess they're adding everything like. They're gonna make sure that we just take three steps and then after that just uh yeah. Three steps and then we battle and all that stuff. And this muck right here is not going down easily. So we're gonna be doing it again. Let's go with another surf attack. There we go. Okay, alrighty, so look at that, look at that. And the team rocket grind, he's like, oh crud! Same the same thing that I say. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right ahead, and, well, let's go to, you know what, let's go to the stairs right here. We have to go to the stairs. Okay, so if we go right here, and we will be coming outside, we're going to be trying to find them in the entrance right here that we couldn't get into in the last episode. So, 
Let's go right ahead and take this guy on. Okay. So here we go. Hypno coming out. Yeah. You're nothing. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just, uh, well, I thought I had a slash attack right here, so let's go right ahead and just physically beat this guy. Okay, alrighty, and, well, he does not going down, so here he comes in with a swagger attack, and, uh, well, okay, you know, ex increase my, my, my power and all that stuff, and there we go. So I'm juiced up, you know, I'm gonna continue on right here, and let's go get hurt just a little bit, god dang it, come on, and there we go. And he's coming out with the Cloyster, so let's go with the Sparker right here. Should be the easiest Pokemon to beat. Let's go Thunder Attack. Of course, he's going to be coming out with the, you know, Protect, but, you know, that doesn't do anything to us. It looks like I underestimated it, you kid. You kind of did. Let's see. Grr! All this, all this just for why waiting some more Pokemon, or wanting some more Pokemon. Okay, so, let's see. This one is a plot going on with Michelle, or Silver, if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know who that is. And, well, we're just going to have to go into the cave right here that we couldn't go into. So as you can see, this is a new portion of Mount Moon that we were trying to get into the last time we were here and it wouldn't let us. And here we find ourselves one more revive. And, well, let's go ahead and see what this guy has to say. I remember the good old days. Giovanni. Oh, wow. He, 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 he yeah, he, the good old days. When they say that, that usually means that he's not happy right now, so... I think this guy might just uh, betray this new leader of Team Rocket and all that stuff, and look at that, Mug defeated. So let's go with Shroom Lee right here. And, well, we're gonna have to be very, very careful with this guy, because we gotta punch him back, and safeguard, straight attack, counter attack, doubles that stuff, so... It knew what we were gonna do. We were gonna be speedy, so let's go with the avalanche right here. Okay. Let's go. Earthquake attack. Look at that. And takedown attack right here. And wow. That's two Pokemon that it's defeated us with is some counter attack. So Wobbuffet could be the most powerful Pokemon out there if used right, or if you knew what your uh, your opponent's gonna be using every single every single turn, so. Of course, I used two physical attacks, so I got two. I got two Pokemon that faint. So let's just do that and that and that and let's go with that. Okay, alrighty. So let's see what he has to say. I wonder if there's any more fossils left over from our previous time here. Maybe, maybe not. We might find a fossil. And look at that. We found ourselves a nice heal. Very good. And, well, there is a Team Rocket member right there. A she-male, or a female, or I don't even know. A Shiva, or a Sheila, like they like to call them in, a, in, a, in Australia. So here we go. Another Pokemon trainer. And she looks pretty foxy right here. So, let's go with Erwin again. Yes, of course, our physical attack's gonna go down just a little because... Well, homeboy right here has a bar, uh, has a Arbok and uh, intimidate, and look at that, simple, simple, just like that. Okay. So let's move on. Let's go ahead and see what's going on around here, and that's it. Huh? You would think there would there was a little bit more to this. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Oh, so much we have profited from over the past three years. And we're still living, we are still living strong, okay. I don't know what that means, but it's whatever. Alright, so let's see. Nothing right here, okay, we go downstairs. And yeah, there's going to be a buttload of Team Rocket members right here, so. Yeah, excuse me if I use the, the, the speed button rep uh, repetitively. So let's go right ahead and just take on this guy. He's an executive, and he's gonna go with a double battle right here. So this is perfect for us. So let's go Ice Punch, and Sky Uppercut onto you. Look at that. Hero has been defeated. Level 89, level 77. Sky Uppercut has missed, god dang it. All right, Surf Attack, Sky Uppercut. There we go. Okay, so that was that. All right, let's see what you got to say. Hey, uh, you must have met him, our boss, Michelle. Hmm, yeah. His technical name is Silver, but it's whatever. 
Okay, so let's see. I am one of the Team Rocket pros. One of the toughest trainers in Team Rocket. Prepare to fight! Okay! Whatever. Okay, so... Alright, Team Rocket Bro. They, they probably promoted because of uh, the last time they were here, so... Shouldn't be that hard to beat. So, let's see. Dragon Claw. Um, Giga Drain. Let's go. That's a rapid spin. So, here we go again. Look at that. We get healed easily. He's coming out with an Electrode. There comes that Mega Kick. Surf Attack. And... Giga Drain. And, of course, they're going to be using a, a Super Potion right there. And look at that. Double damage. Do it again. Come on. God damn it, Faint. It won't let me win or anything like that. And look at that. Okay, so, bro, we'll hear about this. I'm pretty sure they will. So, let's see. Alright, let's move on. And, well, Michelle is right there. I'm actually going to save the game because I kind of feel like every single time we meet up with the, the leader or something, some kind of legendary Pokemon just pops up and then we have to capture it. So let's go right ahead and uh, yeah, it's Zapdos. Ah, this is it. Zapdos is mine. And it disappears. Okay. What? The machine does not work on Zapdos? Or Zapdos either? Or is it just the power source not here? What happened, Zane? Did you configure it correctly? Zane is, uh, this is unacceptable. And they look at me and it's like, God damn it, Draven. I'm always getting, I'm getting fed up uh, with you always uh, interfering. We didn't attract Zapdos here for nothing. This is not going, or this is not the last of things. And, well, here comes Axel. He's like, you're wrong about that, Michelle. This is the end for you. Hold it right there. Heh, <laughs> I should have known you would have uh, shown up again, you meddler. You're too late anyway. Zane, we're leaving. Okay, so, we managed to break his plane, but still, Team Rocket is getting too much power on its hands. I'm afraid the next piece of the information isn't good either. Meet me at the HQ. Crap. Well, shit. Okay, so, that's another episode, uh, it's okay, that's right, okay, so, it's whatever, okay. So, we're gonna have to go to the HQ, I guess. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly back and see what we can uh, actually find right here. So let's go fly straight back to Vermilion City. Fly back. Okay, so let's go back to the HQ and talk to uh, what's his face because I kind of, kind of want to finish this whole thing right here. So here's the Kanto office. The rappel has worn off. Press that secret doodad right there, and bam, we're in. And, well, here we are back into the uh, secret lair, not the secret HQ or something like that. And let's go straight to this guy, Axel. And he's like, Javen, our, our sources indicate that the next tech will be to the Safari Zone. I do not know what they're expecting to find there, but I'm afraid we cannot go unprepared. Meet me there. So, the Safari Zone. Hmm. Okay, so this is new. This is new. Okay, so that is the next place in our adventure right here. I am kind of hoping that this will lead to Moltres, maybe? I don't know. I could be wrong. I, 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 I really don't know. So, yeah. I'm going to take a break right here. And we will find out in the next episode what is going on in, in the Safari Zone. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.